Well, although it seems quite glamorous, co-starring on a primetime series, it's, it's hard work. Add to that the responsibility of, of uh, a husband and, and a 14-month-old son, and you have the life of the greatest American mother. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Connie Selica. You look, well put. You look terrific. Thank you. And you gained how much? Wait a minute. Let's start with when you and your husband, Gil Gerard, who is everybody knows, were on my show in Hawaii. Mm-hmm. We were on your show. You, you were vacationing. You took, a, <laughs> you brought us down to Hawaii to do your show. That's right. And we were down for two days. We did your show on Saturday morning. And the way I calculate it, uh, we had the rest of the afternoon free. And we rented a Jeep. And we were going to take a little tour of the island. And about, we got about two miles and started raining. So we went back, turned around, went back. And the rest is history. <laughs> and that's where you conceived? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that came out of me. I can't believe that. You couldn't say pregnant when I started on television. You'd say she's in a family way or something. Mm -hmm. and, and With child. And the boy is 14 months old. 14 months. And you said you And don't ask me again why he's blonde. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was his hair. Well, I bet Gil was, uh, was a towhead when he was a kid. So was I. Were you really? Mm -hmm. yeah. And you're very Italian, aren't you? Yes. That's your, yes. That's your maiden name, Selica. Uh, actually, it's Selecchia. Selecchia? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Conchetta Selecchia. Uh, now, you, you were telling me you gained how much during your pregnancy? I actually gained 51 pounds. And you're, you have trouble gaining, gaining weight. weight. It was unusual. Oh, I hate people <laughs> that say that. And I look at a chocolate bar and I gain <laughs> the cheese. And when I eat them, it goes right here. I collect like a pelican every Well, when right I gain it, I gain it right here, too. Everybody has their spots where they gain it, and that's right there. But you, you said after the baby was born, you got on the scale, and he weighed? He weighed eight pounds, six and a half ounces. And you had not lost 10 pounds? When I left the hospital, yeah. And you lost 51 pounds in how long? In six months. Did you eat a normal diet? Or yes, what? yes. It just fell off it's just, the Yeah, hard work and, and uh, lots of fun. Yeah, but you do work <laughs> out though, right? Yes. But when I'm working, uh, you know, we just finished the show Wednesday, and when, when I'm shooting a schedule like that, there's not much time to work out. You kind of grab it when you can. When you have a late call, you go in and work out. And when you get off early, you go in and work out. But it's not easy to work out every day. Now, being Italian, you don't eat that food, that Italian food, the pasta? I don't make it, and I don't live home anymore. <laughs> So that's the problem. But do you like Italian food? I love Italian food. You're going home to New York to eat an Italian oh, Thanksgiving. Oh, isn't that nice? Yeah. I once, I, I used to go to school with an Italian kid who took me to his house for dinner one time. I thought they were putting me on. It's they never eat. ending. They served what I thought was... Lunch. That's it. Yeah. That's the meal, okay? And it went into dinner without yeah. leaving the and table. And then they started bringing other things. And I'm going, oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I was full up to here. And, they get in the, and the father and the family, the little tiny... They don't look, you know, the, they look harmless, the little plates, but they all have something on, and every time you take a face, you uh, go, Yeah, layers oh, of oh. plates. Layers of plates. One plate's for one thing, the next plate's for another. Is that the way you eat, and you never gain weight growing up? No, I took after my father. He was always there. You're so lucky. Yes, that's luck. Yeah. It will catch up with me, as you said. You point to after. Yeah, so there'll be a time <laughs> be in careful. life. When it can. Yeah. Do you, take, you still take your little fella on, on the set with you, your little boy? Well, we did just finish shooting uh, Wednesdays, but I... I did take him on the set with me every day. No, what, what Except you, when I, um, I had the freedom to leave him home a few days a week with Daddy towards the end. And you nursed this baby? Thirteen months, uh, yeah. Was that your decision or was it yours and yeah, Gil's? Yeah, it was our decision uh -huh. and it worked out wonderfully with, um, with work. There was no problem at all. Tell me he, about your husband, Gil Gerard. Does he help you with the... He's a great the dad. The feeding is? Dad. He's terrific. He's a great dad. Does he get up at 2 o'clock in the morning? Well, the that? baby doesn't get up at 2 o'clock in the morning anymore. So if Gil's getting up, I don't know what he's doing at 2 o'clock. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the baby's not getting up anymore. Probably walking around holding that little guy. Are you kidding? That's, <laughs> that's a great... But he's taken over the responsibility, um, you know, very well after I stopped nursing. Of course, when I was nursing, there was just so much he could do and just so much comfort he yeah. can give the baby but as soon as that was over he took over yeah, and he's the best one to put him to bed you know he can he can get the baby to sleep in seconds where it would take me a half hour of patting him on the butt yeah. and talking to him you're so family oriented when you had this baby did the thought ever cross your mind the heck with it i want to just 
be a wife and a mother. This is wonderful. Well, I I, I mean, suffer there's something from... about when I hand you that little package, boy, in yeah, the hospital, and that's yeah, yours. It's a wonderful experience. What a feeling that is. But I do suffer from the superwoman syndrome. You know, I do. You think you could do it all? You have huh? to, you know, you feel like you have to do it all. You have to be the perfect wife. You have to be the perfect career woman, the perfect lover, the perfect mother. And in what order, Connie, necessarily? Um, well, family is the most important. Yeah. Family is the most important. But I, I do, you know, I did feel that I had to be perfect at everything. And I think a lot of women today are going through that. Uh, it's society pressure to do everything. And I finally realized, with the help of my husband, that I wasn't perfect at anything, so I didn't have to be perfect at everything. Yeah. yeah. Many women uh, today are really trying to juggle their lives yeah. and, uh, between their family and their and their jobs, and they call them always call them careers. It's a great struggle. What's the secret? Um, I don't know. I, I'm struggling to find it. It, it is a struggle. Um, I guess. You know, especially in the business that I'm in, yeah, you when you're hard. on the set, you and it's 12, 14 hours a day, See? and you have the baby with you, um, you're trying to give your total attention to your work, but then there are times when the baby needs you, and it's hard. The concentration uh, isn't there when it should be, and just finding the concentration, and it, it's setting priorities during the day. How's everything going with The Greatest American Hero? Well, let's talk about that. Okay. <laughs> uh, we are, uh, we just finished shooting uh, this season. The whole season? No, we did 13 shows. Ah. And as of last Friday night, we're off the air at 9 o'clock on Friday nights, which is good for us because it was... Were opposite Dallas. Opposite Dallas. And ABC is promising us we're back on the air again on Wednesday nights at 8, our old time slot. And that's... Let's uh, hear it for ABC. <laughs> Let's hear it for keeping to the show. promise. Gosh, yeah. that's a good show. It's unfortunate because we were doing so well Wednesday night today. Kids love that show. I'm and, you know, let's face it, uh, when you're up against the number one show, it's, it's hard to find your audience again. Of course. So we'll be back on the air in a couple of weeks, Wednesday night. Did the change make you angry when they did that? The networks were, I don't know, why Well, it's just, they do I think things. I've given up trying to understand what, what's in their minds when they do the scheduling. Yeah. But uh, I, d I didn't get angry about it, no. You like what you, uh, you, you when Gil was here last, he's uh, he's doing a lot of pictures of the week yeah. and all. And he's got a series that is... In the works. In the works, but he said, he said they're having difficulty finding the right people to, to write the scripts. Yeah, yeah. He wants to make sure that this is the right character, oh, I don't blame this him. is the right show. Yeah. And he's being real particular. Did you bring the pictures? Oh, no. <laughs> you were showing me pictures of the baby, and it's it's fascinating. Maybe we can fetch some. Can we show any of those? And sure, it's a child. It's an infant. Nobody, nobody, nobody will object. You've got to see these pictures because I, I've seen films of mothers and and taking their children to these certain people to teach them to swim when they're infants and just toss them in the pool and you hold your breath, you know, because you yeah. think. Yeah. Well, he's and these great. Are incredible well, that's one pictures. thing, you know. That's one thing that's difficult too. Is there comes sure a point when the baby has his own schedule. Oh, yeah. I mean. Wait a minute, look at this good guy. Is that a perfect looking baby? <laughs> huh? He's gonna kill not only you, mother, but he's gonna be looking for me someday. So that's the clown that showed my pictures in the buff on television. Look at this. That's a, now how Here's old is he? How old is he here? He's ten months here. Can you oh am I a little higher? Is that okay, Wendy? Yeah. Isn't that great? Daddy huh? will kill me if I show let some me show, of let these, me show so I think. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is kind of like a replay of the other one. Yeah, they're all... <laughs> but that's marvelous. Now, does he do this? Uh, do you well, go in been... with him? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, we we started out with um, lessons at the Y, and uh, we try and keep up practicing in our own pool. But since the weather's gotten so Are nice and you... chilly, it's hard yeah. to. Are both of you good swimmers? No. No. See, that's probably why swim. you wanted this to happen, right? That's probably true. I did not swim at all until I was cast in the Bermuda <gasps> Depths. And when I auditioned for that, I said, no, I can't swim. And I took swimming <laughs> lessons. I took swimming you lessons. You know what? It knocks me out. My wife, her mother, uh, you know, always said, stay away from the water, be careful of the water. And, and the first thing she did with all three of our children was get them into right in the, the water. water. And they swim like like fish, all of them, you know. Any thoughts of, because you're such a beautiful couple, you and, and your husband, Gil, Thanks. of acting together? Yeah, we'd love to. We talk about it. We talk about it, and we'd, we'd like to, but uh, no set projects yet. Oh, you should. You've It'll be fun.
Yeah. You look so happy, Connie. Thank it's, you. Oh, yeah. Don't even have to ask you how things are going. Really. <laughs> you just radiate happiness. We'd be happier if we get back on the air. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Those things take care of themselves, yeah. really. Because I'm sure you're not going to have to, you know, look for work. You're not exactly chop liver. Well, actually, you know, I... You yeah, won't I be waiting like... on tables anywhere <laughs> anything, or any of that stuff. I mean, you're going to continue your career. Well, a right? housekeeper uh, just left us, and the first thing I said to Gil was, do I have to clean the toilets now that I know? <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, he said he yes. He assured me that we'd do them together. <laughs> <laughs> Would you please stay? Because sure. joining us in a moment, we'll have Sandy Kenyon and the Entertainment News. Right up to this.